In the previous video, we designed a basic exploring app with graphics, images, and elements from a UI kit. And I've also added a detail screen here. But what we want to do now is wire up these screens to create an interactive prototype. So we start by selecting prototype here. Now first notice the home icon. This basically says that uh, this screen is going to be the screen the prototype starts with. But from there, if I can select it, I can add an interaction to it. And in this case, I actually want to select the entire artboard. Now notice this blue arrow, this is called a trigger, and I can take that trigger and point it to any screen that I want. And if you want to remove a trigger, you can just drag it off and it will remove it. Because I actually want this splash screen to link to the places screen. Next up is just to select the transition that I want. I want to select slide left so the places screen slides over the splash screen. And we can also connect elements that might be nested inside of other elements, like this repeat grid for instance. Uh, clicking on it once will select it, but if you double click it, you can select the elements inside like this Tokyo Tower uh, element or graphic, and then I can point that directly to the map screen and it will link the two together. And notice when I link it up, it remembers the last transition selected. Now to go back, we can select this back arrow and point it back to the places screen and change the transition to the opposite, which would be slide right. Then I can select this icon and point it back to the splash screen with the same transition. Now here's the fun part, testing the interaction. So we can just use this desktop preview button right here. And sure enough, notice how we can navigate between these three screens with the transitions that we've selected. So it gets to be really fun, and honestly, what I can actually do now is I can keep this live preview running and I can change elements and it will update in the live preview. For instance, I'm noticing that I'd like to update this uh, map screen. And this element, I wanna just point it to the detail screen here, and I'm gonna set the transition to slide left. Sure enough, you can see it update. And now I can even set up this back button. And what I'm gonna do for this back button is I'm actually going to select previous artboard. This means regardless of how you got to this detail screen, it will go back to that previous artboard and reverse the transition that was used to get there. So this is great for screens that might have multiple entry points. Now I'd actually wanna wire up all these locations, but actually there are more here that we can't see without scrolling. So let's do some uh, vertical scrolling. Uh, first thing I need to do is go to design view and I just need to extend this artboard down. From there, I can extend down the repeat grid as well, and then move this bar into place. And notice over here in the Properties Inspector, the viewport height stays the same. In fact, we can test it out now. Sure enough, I can scroll through and see all the items. Now, as you start adding more artboards, as I go into the prototyping section, uh, chances are you might need to reorder these artboards so I can take this detail screen and move it below the map screen. And not only that, as I'm adding artboards for all of these different places, you can actually just do a shift select to select multiple artboards and then duplicate these artboards. And what happens, the interactions come with those artboards as you start to duplicate them. And then of course I need to change the content for those screens. And two more tips I wanna show is going up to view and zoom to fit all. So you can see all of the artboards that you've created. And then from there, you can just do a click and drag to start to see all of the interactions that you have visually. You can also go into edit and select all as well. But now you can see how quickly you can convert your design into a prototype experience. In the next video, I'll show you how sharing, commenting, and previewing on mobile devices works.